All right, so we're gonna be trying the menu two beef shredded and barbecue sauce. This is the uh, 2021 inspection. It's a 2018 MRE. Let's see what this is like. Let's make this decide. There we go. There we have, we got the oatmeal cookie tiff. Nope, that is not tiff, that is TFF. Well, I need my contacts on. All right, we got the cheese spread. I have actually been waiting a long time to try this. Um, I might have had this when I was younger. We used to get those uh, 1980s, 90s rations. And uh, we'd eat them far past their expiration date. And I'm pretty sure I've had one of these packs before on some of that good old-fashioned MRE bread. But it has been a while. We got some beverage base powder. Lemon lime. Not really a fan of lemon lime. Um, unless it's real. We got some tortillas. Plain. There we go. We got the barbecue sauce. Then we got the hot pack. Putting that together in a minute. Got our accessories pack. And this, I'm assuming, is one of the entrees. Feels like shredded beef. A little, little gooey. And this one, okay, this might actually be the shredded beef uh, barbecue. And we have our hot pack sleeve to cook this in. All right, let's get started. All right, I'm gonna warm these tortillas up along with the entrees. Usually people don't warm the tortillas up um, for whatever reason, but if you like crunchy and stale tortillas, um, be my guest, but I'm gonna be warming those ones up. All right, let's uh, start with the cookie, cookie tip, as I said before, the TFF. All right. It's a pretty big cookie. You know, I'm gonna take a bite right now, just because I can't wait. That's definitely oatmeal. Um, not the biggest fan on oatmeal uh, flavored things, like so, you know, it has like a cinnamon in it. I'm not really a fan of cinnamon all too much, but it's still pretty good nonetheless. So let's add that on there. We're gonna be filling some water up. I normally wouldn't use tap just because tap is usually pretty pretty wretched but um, where I live it is surprisingly good so I don't mind using it all right so we got the beverage the lemon lime beverage all right, let's get nice shots of this powder okay got a little bit on the on the um, dish, definitely don't want lemon lime barbecue shredded beef. Do not want that lemon lime barbecue. Sounds awful. Okay, that drink does not look good. I'll, I'll admit that's that is not. Let's give it a little stir. Um, I have no idea what they're using for the color. I don't really want to know. I'm just going to wing it with this one and hope it doesn't uh, turn my stool green. Let's give it a little try. It's pretty good. It tastes like Gatorade. I'm um, just kind of like a standard. You know, it's not really, not really that flavorful, which I'm kind of thankful for. I was expecting it to be pretty sour and you know artificial but it's pretty light on the flavor you now for the accessories pack all 
Okay, we have... Okay, there we go. We got creamer. Non-dairy creamer for coffee. Oh, there we go. We got some instant coffee. I'm actually pretty excited to try this because I do like the taste of instant coffee. At least that Bistello brand. I'm pretty sure it's Bistello. Um, I don't drink instant coffee all the time, but I do like the flavor. And we got a moist towelette. Um, it's what it is. And we got some good old Splenda. Make sure you raise your insulin levels while eating healthy. We got some iodized salt. We got our little paper towels. See how good these are. Oh, I mean, these feel kind of just, you know, they're tissues. So they're pretty soft. All right, then we're going to start heating things up. All right, so we got the um, heat pack. Turn that open. We are supposed to fill this up to the line. There we have it in there. Should be good. And we're supposed to feel warmth. Okay, I could definitely feel it going now. Is that smoke coming out? It's smoking. Looks like it's working. Okay, we're gonna set this aside. I'm gonna fold this and put the sleeve on. Okay, we got the sleeve on. All right, we're gonna let that sit. All right, I decided to pop the tortilla and the black beans and rice into a pan with water in it. Just gonna simmer that a little bit. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to put the black beans and rice in the uh, in the heat pack along with the shredded beef, but I'm pretty stupid, so. While we're going to be waiting, we're going to try out some moist towelettes. A little thicker than normal towelettes. Pretty good. Doesn't smell like much. Whatever it smells like, it smells pretty clean. I don't know what, what clean is supposed to smell like, but let's get some of this instant coffee going. Alright, so the um, shredded beef is getting pretty hot. Yeah, I cannot hold that for too long. Give it a good pour. Okay, I don't want to fill that too much because it's not a lot of coffee, and that's a pretty big cup. Right, let's give it a little stir. Try not to get any of that in the lens. Just give it a little try, just black. Tastes like a really watery uh, instant coffee. I didn't even put that much water in it, and it's pretty uh, pretty lackluster in taste, but you know what? It'll do. And right, now let's put some non-dairy creamer in it. Let's give this a go. Alright. It's not a bad color. Now... I'm not seeing any sugar. Oh yeah, I forgot. Good old Splenda. Now I don't I don't do Splenda, but just for the video, instead of adding some sugar or the other poisonous uh, sweetener, I'm gonna add it. And I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that was not enough sweetener to even taste just a percentage of it. I mean, that was, that was the tiniest pack of uh, sweetener I think I've ever seen. It's miniature. They didn't give you like 10 of them or anything like that. They give you one. All right, let's try this. You can actually taste the sweetener in that, surprisingly. And it's, uh, it's pretty good. I'm just going to set this to the side. Okay, well, hopefully the camera got that it cut out. But um, like I was saying, this smells like um, one of those vegan meats. Like, it's kind of like dog food, but like this really just sour, putrid, murky, I don't even know. Okay. We got our sauces right out of the uh, boiler. I don't know. Um, this is, well, it's fairly hot. Um, okay, yeah. That is, that's hot. Ooh. You gotta... 
Yeah, it's definitely steaming. Or no, no, that's the uh, that's the food right there. Okay. Well, it feels like it's steaming. So let's uh, go ahead and burn ourselves. Ah, pull this thing out. Okay, it feels it feels pretty hot. That's actually almost as hot as the other food that I boiled. Let's give it a little. Let's push that around a little bit. All right, let's give this a little tear. Okay, that is the smallest. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm, that smells. That smells amazing. That actually smells like like legit barbecue, like like um kind of like a pulled like a sh like a shredded beef barbecue. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wonder why it's wonder why it's called shredded beef barbecue. But it smells it smells really good. It smells like something you'd get at a restaurant or a food truck. I'm not even exaggerating, it smells really good. Alright, let's get that last bit out of there. Let's give it a little little toss. I'm just gonna try this real quick, just a little bit without this doesn't have the barbecue sauce in it yet, even though well I mean it does, but it comes with some barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna give this a try. Doesn't taste as good as it smells, but it does come with some barbecue sauce. Okay, I pop that open and you can just smell that. Okay, that is melting. Melting hot. Along with everything that I threw in that boiler. Right, let's give that a little stir. All right, now we do have some cheese sauce. People usually put the cheese sauce right on the food. Oh, I see a little empty uh, tray right there, a little empty spot. So that's where the cheese is going. Okay, that is nice and melted. A little bit of cheese on the packet. That's a that's pretty good cheese. You know, it's a little bit better than what you would find at a gas station. All right, so where should we start? I'm gonna have a little bit more of this coffee real quick. All right, well, I'm gonna try some of these rice and beans. That is pure salt. Oh my god. That is the saltiest thing I think I've ever had, other than pure salt. Jesus. Has a little kick to it, but yeah, it's um, definitely a salt brick. So I'm gonna try a little bit of this with, without the tortilla first. Hmm, that's a lot better. When you add that little barbecue sauce pack they give you, it turns it into barbecue. Now I'm gonna try some of this tortilla. It got a little, a little colder. I cooled down and firmed up a little bit because I let it sit. But I'm gonna try some of this. You know, first I'm gonna try some without the cheese. But we got that. Looks pretty good. Take a bite. Okay, you can taste. You can taste that this tortilla is not real. I mean, I don't know, it just has this dusty kind of this is good though. <laughs> Aside from the tortilla, this is really good. I'm gonna leave this one on the side. Then we're just gonna go all in on this. We're gonna try a little bit of barbecue. Okay. And a little bit of that, <laughs> that salt brine. That's, that's a mistake. I don't, shouldn't have put that on. But you know what? It's part of the meal. Okay, that cheese immediately solidified. Once you put the cheese in the tray, you can see that they really don't give you enough. Let's try this uh, monstrosity here with the salt brine beans, shredded barbecue, and the cheese. All right. Hmm. I think it's the salt brine beans. 
that are kind of ruining it. <laughs> they have some kick to them, though. If you do, like, spicy stuff, those beans will give you a nice kick. Um, I'm kind of on the, the medium side of heat, but <sighs> those beans are salt brine, and you really don't want them. I will admit, those are not good. But the shredded beef is pretty amazing. The cheese... It's not so good mixed with the salt brine. I don't know, the, the combo with the cheese and the salt brine beans doesn't really work well. All right, so we're just gonna, so I'm just gonna take my other tortilla, the one with no uh, salt brine in it. We're gonna pop this, uh, all right, let's give that a bite. That's a lot better. Yeah, you really just don't wanna eat those beans. They're just way too salty. And I mean, I, I can I can handle pretty salty things. When I say something's too salty, that usually means it's on the verge of actually being pure salt. Those beans are not good. But this is good. When you have the shredded beef, barbecue, and cheese, this is actually pretty good. But like I said, you do not want those beans. You need some of that elixir. I mean, I get why it's so salty. You know, it's a preservative. They tend to be high in sodium, but this, I'm telling you guys right now, these beans, that's criminal. That is not going to do the soldier good, I can tell you that. They're going to be bloated, vision loss, they're going to be dehydrated. Not good, but this barbecue is really good, and I'm pretty sure they'd be happy with this. Ugh. That's some good beef. It has some nice texture to it. You'd think that it might just be, they might just use some soy kind of hybrid. That's legit shredded beef. They're not using any fillers in that. This is pretty rough, okay? Uh, this is pretty rough, I will admit. Not this part. Not really the oatmeal cookie. Not the poisonous drink or the watered down coffee. Those beans, I'll say it again, those are criminal. Just take that off the menu. I like this uh, barbecue. It's pretty salty too. Like most MREs, like I was saying, a lot of sodium. But it's still really good. I don't know what it is about instant coffee, but man, that flavor is unmatched. This little thing, I really don't want to eat this, but I will. I'll do it for you. I'm sure it's disappointing seeing somebody review something that you want to, you want to see them eat the whole thing. And I will do that. I will eat the entire thing, but I want you to know how much salt is in this. I mean, there's a lot of salt. A lot of salt, but I'm going to do it. I said I'd do it. I said I'd do it for you guys. Oh, fuck. oh god. And after after eating this for a minute, um, these beans, or the salt brine beans, it kind of just tastes like generic canned chili um, with, with, with a pound of salt. But it's, yeah, the flavor, just a can of chili. I don't know, just any off-brand. Doesn't have anything going for it. Oh God. This is taking me a very long time to eat. Oh God. I just realized that they give you salt. They actually give you a pack of salt. That's a cruel joke. Hmm. That's a lot better. Now that I've, uh, Stuff that brine down my throat. Salt milk cookie is pretty good now. You guys should subscribe and like just for that. Just for that torture. Um, the torture of the salt brine beans. Let's try a little bit of this coffee with this, uh, this oatmeal cookie. Eating the cookie with the coffee kind of neutralizes that, that oatmeal cinnamon flavor. I don't know how it does it, but it just kind of just disappears when you dip it. So I'm gonna give that another dip. 
All right, so that was the video. Um, that was pretty delicious. Um, aside from the salt brine, that was not good, okay? Uh, if you like the salt brine and you've tried it, um, comment below. I really want to I really want to see why, why you would like that. Um, but the, the shredded barbecue and beef was really good. The cheese was amazing. Oatmeal cookie was all right. The coffee was good. Weird little leprechaun drink was all right. If you guys like the video, give it a like and uh, subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. Um, yeah, catch you guys later.